I am Lamont at large. Today the birds are chirping and I am at the Grand Island Cemetery here in Grand Island, Nebraska. Trevor Kyle Sock, December 15th, 1998 to January 1st, 2018. So Trevor was at home and somebody had come by to buy some cocaine from a person that was also at the apartment at the time. And an argument ensued and the person who came in there to purchase the coke, he pulled out a gun and he fired a shot in the apartment and a couple people grabbed him to throw him out. And when they threw him through the door, he turned around and shot Trevor three times, killing him. The police and the ambulance came and took him to the hospital where he died. Jamie Loman Sanday, July 17th, 1980 to August 11th. 2013 Jamie died in a car accident and she was preceded in death by her brother James William Loman Jonathan Rodriguez and Patricia Padron they were both killed together on April 3rd, 2016, they had went with their friend Robert Baker out to Omaha just to have drinks and go out to dinner. Patricia was supposed to come back to Grand Island here to pick up her child, and she never showed up, and that was on April 2nd. And so the next day on April 3rd, they put out a uh, missing persons report for Robert Baker, Jonathan Rodriguez, and Patricia Padron. And they were missing for the next two days. And then on April 5th, an Omaha, Nebraska helicopter spotted Robert's pickup truck in a ravine off the freeway. And they went down to the ravine and discovered all three dead in the truck. It appears that uh, the driver of the truck uh, had a uh, blood alcohol level right at around three times the legal limit. And he also had THC in the system. And according to crime scene investigators, the truck was going in excess of 100 miles an hour when it went off the road. And all three were killed instantly. Jerry Ray Ramirez, May 27, 1984 to August 19, 2013. Jerry was in a car with a couple of his friends and the driver of the vehicle was just driving very erratically according to witnesses going in and out of lanes uh, just being very unruly he lost control of the vehicle and crashed into the median and Jerry was thrown out of the vehicle and he died on the scene Cody Aaron Christensen, January 15th, 1998 to June 6th, 2012. Uh, Cody died in a very uh, horrible, tragic accident. Uh, him and his friends were walking on the train tracks and a uh, train coming through, honking his horn as all trains, when they see anything on the road, even if it's an animal or anything, they always honk their horns. And uh, the train conductor, he honked his horn, but unfortunately, he sti still hit and killed uh, Cody here. You know, it's something that all kids do. I, I practically grew up walking on train tracks, you know. It's just a very tragic uh, accident. You just got to always be careful.
Shannon Lee Treffer, October 31st, 1973 to July 21st, 1990. Shannon died in a single vehicle accident. He lost control of his vehicle and it crashed off the road into a ditch. I don't believe I've ever seen a cemetery marker such as this. There's a lot written up there about Jesse Lee Thompson. In 2012, he was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which required him to go a transplant, and it wasn't taking, so they had a bone marrow drive to try to find a match for him. And even though no results came, uh, some people at a hospital uh, contacted his family and they tried to do some kind of a stem cell transplant. And there was uh, complications to his surgery. And uh, he died on November 21st, 2012. He was 22 years old. Morgan Brook Hanbaum, July 23rd, 1988 to June 10th, 2007. Morgan was a passenger on the back of a motorcycle being driven by her friend, Joshua Milana. And uh, they got into an accident. Their motorcycle was hit by a man who was driving that shouldn't have been driving. Uh, when they did a field sobriety test, uh, they did a blood test at the hospital. It was indicated that his uh, BAC, which is a blood alcohol level, was twice the legal limit. They also conducted a blood test, too, on Joshua Milana, who also died in the crash. And he did have alcohol in his system as well. And after the uh, preliminary investigation, it was determined that Joshua was on his motorcycle speeding. But it was also determined that the uh, driver that hit and killed them had should have had plenty of time to avoid them. But that was uh, given as a factor during the uh, trial. And uh, the man that killed this poor girl, uh, he was given 10 to 20 years in prison. And it looks online like he's already gotten out of prison. Okay, so that concludes another video, another one in the books. I thank you guys for watching my video and my other videos. And uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Lamont on the Run. Want to try to get that kind of going. Uh, anyways, uh, live but not live, but I'm still alive by the grace of God. I'm at the Grand Island Cemetery here in Grand Island, Nebraska. When westward on I go, guys, I will see you on the next vlog. God bless. Peace out.